there's a brand new VS Code extension for Next.js that you need to go check out right now. What's going on, everyone? My name is James Q. Quick, and I do weekly videos about web development and web development related topics. I don't know. Just come back to the channel. Anyway, I do a lot with uh, JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript, and frameworks, including React, and then I'm a huge fan of Next.js. Now, one of the things that I have loved about React in the past is how many different extensions there are inside of VS Code for working with React, primarily extensions for snippets in React where I don't have to type almost anything in React, I can use a snippet to do it for me. Well, there's a new extension that is React and Next.js snippets that's gonna help take care of your React snippets and then your Next.js snippets as well. Now, this is brand new, this is on Product Hunt, I'll have a link in the description below. This is actually created from Avnish, who's a member of the Learn, Build, Teach, Learn, Build, Teach Discord community, uh, which you can check out at learnbuildteach.com. And he's an amazing creator. He's a teenager, which is really incredible in and of itself. But go and check out the link, upload it if you try it out and you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. So I'm inside of VS Code, and I started with just searching for Next.js. Now, I think um, there are lots of different uh, snippet extensions in here. Uh, some of them are definitely a little bit older that have more downloads and installs and stuff. So you can go and check those out. Those might work for you as well. Uh, but I am going to specifically search for uh, the React and Next.js snippets from Avnish so I can check this out myself. All right, so here it is down here. I'm going to go ahead and install this. And for what it's worth, um, the uh, extension that I use for just React is the ES7 plus React Redux React Native snippets. That's the one I use for just React. Uh, but now I should have the React and Next.js snippets extension installed. And so I'm inside of a Next.js project and there's a couple that I specifically wanna try out because I always fumble around with these. All right, so I'm gonna start uh, inside of my pages directory and create a test.js file. So this will automatically create this page which automatically in Next.js creates the route for us behind the scenes. Now I'm inside of the source code for the Compressed FM website. Compressed.fm is a web or a podcast all about web development and design with two episodes per week. So if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below as well. All right, so there's two things inside of this extension that I really want to share with you that I think are super useful. Let me start with uh, RFC in my case is uh, those ES7 long name snippets that I have and use. So that will give me a basic React component and I could call this uh, whatever. So it's naming it after the file name up here and then it returns kind of a dummy uh, thing up here. And I think if I say this is gonna format it to be one line, which is okay. But the couple of things that I always struggle with are the uh, get server side props and get static props. And so there's, there's snippets in here to help take care of that for you. Uh, so uh, let's see what these are. So the server side props in SSR, so this is cool, so in SSR, We'll stub this out. So I always forget like what are the parameters uh, that get passed. Actually, this can be destructured into uh, something else. And then uh, making sure how to format your props. Um, so this is stubbing out one of those. And if I save, I think this is gonna minimize this as well. Uh, so just my my linter taking over here. And then the NSSG uh, is the same thing, but for get static props. So same kind of thing where you want to go and get some sort of information at uh, build time instead of uh, on the server at runtime. So my formatting took over and made it a little more concise. That's just because I wasn't running any logic. But if I were to add in um, hello world, uh, that didn't quite work as I wanted, but now you can see it gets uh, formatted um, or it kind of keeps the original formatting. So that's really cool. The other one uh, that people use a lot if you're building a blog or just a dynamic static list of pages, you're building a, a list of static pages dynamic programmatically, I guess, uh, is your get static path. So NGSP. So uh, this one you'll often see combined with the get static props where you get the static props for the information that you then need to build the paths around. And you do that inside of your get static path. So it goes ahead and stubs that out for you as well, which is really nice. And then if you look down, there's even the TypeScript versions, which is pretty cool too. So I don't use a ton of TypeScript, although that's one of my goals on the channel is to do more of that this year. So you can comment below and try to keep me accountable, hold me accountable. Uh, but you got TypeScript snippets in here as well for a lot of those things too. So a couple of ones that we didn't look at, uh, we saw static props, server props. There's also, if you're building like a uh, your app page uh, by default or by, uh, by yourself without a scaffolder, you can do that. Uh, there's like an in doc, so a next custom document. So this is using like the HTML tag 
and uh, you could add any extra properties in there that you want to. And then if we go up to uh, just your basic component, so this can replace uh, the basic component that you would create. This is uh, with TypeScript here. And there's lots of like use effect and use ref and use context for those pieces inside of React as well. So the React and Next.js snippets, go ahead and check them out. Also, if you have any feedback on things that you would like to see them add, leave a comment below. I'm sure that Abnish would love to hear that feedback. And lastly, if you enjoyed it, go and give them an upvote on Product Hunt to support the free work that they're doing to give a snippet for you in Next.js. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video.